the homework asks us to use hierarchical clustering. And then once we um, have created the clusters with the, um, with the algorithm, then we're supposed to describe those clusters. So let's, um, let's begin here. I'm going to go to Excel Miner. I'm going to go to Cluster, hierarchical clustering. It says uh, we cannot use any more than 2,000 rows, so it's taking the first 2,000 rows only, and that's, that's fine. So I've selected everything except for the ID. I'm going to go to Next. I want to normalize this data. I'm going to use the Euclidean, and I'm just going to use uh, awards method like it asked for. Um, I'm going to draw the uh, dendrogram, and I'm, I'm going to just start off with, um, let's, just, let's just say 2 for right now. I'm going to say Finish. Okay, it's taking some time here. Okay. We want to go to um, HC clusters. And here we can see the uh, uh, cluster ID. So we should have one and two here. So we have one and two. And um, looking all the way down to the bottom, we're going to look at those 2,000 instances we have, and it, it's um, according to the cluster that it's in. Now this shows the uh, attributes and a description of the attributes for that particular uh, uh, row, the, the row ID. Uh, each one of these is an individual instance. So we're going to use uh, pivot tables to describe this, uh, to describe the clusters. First, um, I need to prepare uh, this uh, uh, worksheet here, so I'm just going to delete the top header information. That's not important for us. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete A. And um, yes, now I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to Pivot Table, and we're going to describe these clusters based on. Um, we could do it a number of different ways. We could do it on the average of of the information of the, of the attributes within that cluster. But in this particular um, um, way that I'm going to do it, I'm, I'm just going to describe the clusters based on the sum of the attributes, of the individual attributes within the uh, two clusters that we've chosen. We don't need the ID, so I'm not selecting um, A. So I'm going from C to O. And then I'm going to say, um, put that into a new worksheet. OK. So now we, um, we're going to m uh, put the cluster ID into the column. OK. Now we want to uh, get a sum of, of each one of these, of the balance um, and each one of these attributes. So first I'm just going to go down here to uh, balance. I'm going to change this uh, value field setting to sum. I'm going to do the same to the miles. Let's say sum. Oops. And uh, we want this to be sum on the rows, not on the columns. It's just going to make it more concise here. CC1 miles. I'm going to do the same thing with that one. I'm going to make this sum. Do this to here to sum. And I'm going to do that for each one of the attributes. Um, so then to describe these two clusters, we would just look at the differences here. So for cluster 1, for example, we have, um, uh, it's kind of hard to, to see without uh, commas in here to see how big these numbers really are. Okay. And then I want to take the, the zeros out of there. Okay. So we have uh, 50 million uh, is the sum of the balance in 1. 134 million is the sum of the balance in, in, in two. So the description is going to be very similar to what you would do in k-means clustering. So if you, if you wanted to describe um, a two, for example, and of course, you know, you would, you would put the rest of these um, um, attributes and you would sum up the rest of these and, and describe it fully. But you would say, okay, um, a cluster number two has a much um, you know, higher balance um, G generally, um, the uh, sum of the quantity of miles is, is much greater, and, and just on and on and on and to describe that, that cluster. So, um, but thank you. Bye.